how do you even begin to teach yoga with essential oils? If you're a yoga teacher and you don't know anything about essential oils, this is how you get started. I'm gonna tell you how I did it and then you can go off and do it too. If I can do it, you can do it because I knew nothing about essential oils and now I'm teaching twice a week essential oils yoga classes. My name is Ashley. You can find me at ashesyoga.com or anywhere with the, the at Ashes Yoga. Uh, other than that, I also own this yoga studio, Hobo Yoga in downtown Polsbo, Washington State. And I teach a variety of classes. I've been teaching for eight years. I also train other people to become teachers. So I lead teacher trainings and I'm running and managing the studio. So how do you get started with essential oils yoga? If it's something that you want to uh, add to your class repertoire and you want to make and create a class that's a little bit different and special, different than maybe what everyone else is doing, essential oils might be it for you. And you can use whatever brand you'd like, that's fine, but I'm gonna tell you the way that I do it so that uh, you can get an easy way <laughs> to do this. All right, so here it is. This is the secret. The doTERRA, the essential yoga program book. This is it. This makes it so, so simple. This is on Amazon for 15-ish dollars. Uh, I'm sure you can buy it from the doTERRA website as well. I am a doTERRA uh, rep or whatever it's called, um, but I'm not one that's, I, I don't want essential oils to become my life. It's just something that I do because it connects really well with my teaching yoga. So it just makes sense that I'm using this book and I use the doTERRA oils and their oils are like top notch. So I really like them. Um, anyway, let's go on why this is so great, why this book works so well for yoga teachers. So this book works well for yoga teachers. It is not going to work well for those of you who are super into essential oils and want to add yoga and learn how to do yoga with the oils. This book is more of a resource for yoga teachers who know the basics and how to teach a yoga class and then you want to add oils. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So you're not going to learn the exact yoga stuff in there. You're not learning the benefits of the poses. You're not learning how to do the poses. It gives you a list of the poses, but you as a yoga teacher need to know the poses and how to formulate the transitions of the classes, whereas it gives you the benefits of the oils, when to use them and how to use them. So this is a month by month breakdown. And this is what I do and use each month. So I've been doing this for, I did this for a full year before, just once a month class. And now I'm doing this twice a week. So right now we're on November, it's gratitude. And it tells you the exact oils you can use. And in the back, it gives you some alternatives in case you don't have those. And this is the page that you need to know most of all. So it gives you suggested poses. So like I said, this is the yoga portion. As a yoga teacher, you need to know how to, how to create a class around these poses. And then it tells you the benefits of each, each oil that you're using, when to use each oil, um, how to use it, uh, <laughs> what you're supposed to do if you're supposed to apply it yourself or if they apply it themselves. So it tells you everything about the oils that you need to know, enough to know on this page. With this, I also personally like to make a little handout so that people can take this with them and for each month. So we keep with the same theme and the same oils every month, each month. It can be a once a month workshop. It can be a once a week class. It can be like for me, I did a twice a week class just because I really enjoy it. We actually have that class starting here in a few minutes as I'm, uh, after I'm making this video actually. So these are, this is the main page that I'll use and I'll also just kind of write down maybe on my own sheet of paper, I'll bring this in with, into class with me. Um, but you do want to study a little bit and, and get to know those specific oils that you're using. So in time, ideally, you won't need this book anymore. You'll understand which oils connect best with the start of class, which oils are, are best you know, uplifting before sun salutations or which oils are grounding, which ones help us come down. Um, it also provides scripts in here. It says year at a glance. It also provides scripts of what you could say if people ask questions like what are essential oils? And um, why, do, uh, why do we do this? Or uh, sample workshop script presentation. Um, and you can make this as much or as little about doTERRA, the company, 
as you want. So you don't have to be selling the oils at all. Um, you can just use this as a resource and not even talk about the company, or you can use this as a way to enhance your doTERRA yoga business. Either way, is it's up to you and how, um, how fast you want to grow that business or not. Uh, on this, I do have, like I have my website here, but I rarely talk about um, the oils in my classes. But now, now that I am um, adding a couple oils, I have a, a few here for sale. I might mention, hey, we have a few oils for sale. Feel free to check them out up front. I just have a few. I have like On Guard, Breathe, and I'll have lavender and peppermints in a, in, but after they ship, after I get them. But anyway, um, that is how you can easily combine yoga and essential oils to create classes. Like I said, the secret sauce for me is this book. It's a simple $15 book. It's a proven approach to creating unique yoga workshops incorporating therapeutic essential oils that will elevate the vibration and increase studio class sizes. It, it, it continues to be one of the more popular classes here at the studio. I get uh, now it's like eight to 10 people per class. Um, and for us right now, as we're getting started, that's a pretty good class size. Uh, hoping of course to increase that since we have space for 25 to 30. Maybe we can max out at 35, but we're not gonna do that. But 20 people in class is, is a great number to have. And so we'll grow, and part of our way of growing is to do essential oils and yoga. If that was helpful, let me know. If this is something that you've been doing, or if you have a different way, I would love to hear about it. So leave a comment, and make sure that you subscribe for more tips on yoga teaching. Bye.